Hello, YouTubers and viewers. Um, uh, today, I want to discuss and talk about something completely different than I've really ever uploaded a video on on my own my entire channel. Bizzle Blue Thirty Eight here, by the way, and uh, excuse me. Um. I just feel a strong need to talk about all the tragedy and shootings and the unnecessary taking of lives that's happening everywhere. Uh, first off, I wanted to say, I want to let you guys know that I not only appreciate every single one of you, small we may be, but each and every one of my viewers, I I appreciate you so much and, and I care about you. And the subject I'm going to talk about, as we all know, It's a touchy one. It's a tough one. It's, you know, it's so heartbreaking and sad that this is even a thing in our world today. But, you know, it is. So, I've been debating for quite a while now whether or not I should make this video. I've been debating in my head whether I should just keep my channel at the base that it has been all this time uh, because my sole purpose is, you know, if I can just put make one person smile, just one, if not more, but just one person smile or laugh or feel better or feel somewhat comforted or what have you, you know, if that has always been and always will be the sole intent and purpose of, of my channel. And so I debated, you know, do I just keep the steady stream of, you know, my regular videos, which I will do. I mean, other than this video, nothing in my channel is going to change. Which, which, by the way, I can promise you this. I can promise you this. On my channel, you will never see or hear or hear me talk about or mention, other than this tiny thing, any of the YouTube drama crap. Because, guys, that's, that's exactly what it is. And I, I choose to not get involved. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, one of those people that uses other people's, you know, faults and problems to one, uh, benefit for their own sake in their channel. And we all know who we're talking about. And at the same time, I just, I want to stay clear, you know, of certain drama that's going on. That really is, it's not good for anybody. You know, no, it's, it's toxic. So I debated on that, you know, and then I thought, you know, really there isn't, no way I can't just not make this video because I care about you guys and you know it's a scary uncertain world out there unfortunately so I
I said, yes, you know, I, I have to do this. I've been thinking about the situation in this world, in this country, because it happens so very often. And it should not be a thing. Now, I, I don't even know where to, be, where to begin. You know, I really don't. I mean, there's the... You go back to the horrible, tragic, and evil and the filled with hatred, uh, massacre in Orlando. You know, as a country in America, as well as the world, we haven't even had a lot of time to really process and get through and heal. We haven't from that disaster, among many others. We haven't, we haven't had time because just like that, snap, another disaster happens, you know? Now you got, you know, I, so many things that should not be a thing, really. Uh, you know, the most recent one, the, uh, the attack in France. Come on, I mean, 75 people lost their lives. Children, you know, kids, husbands. People that just wanted, I just breaks my heart and it, it should not be a thing, you know? And then you have these police shootings, you know, of um, Alton Sterling and, um, I can't remember the other one, but the other one that, the other black person that got shot. Now, don't mind that, that's my annoying neighbor. Now you have two sides. There's always two sides. The true side of the story and those that jump to conclusions. You know, there's all these protests and riots and looting. And what does that accomplish? I mean, you know, the family and people that don't even know Alton Sterling and the other guy, they always hear the same thing. Well, he did nothing wrong. You know, he was innocent. Why was he shot? He was in front of a store. Okay, he was selling CDs. But the cops were called because he was holding, he had a gun, you know? He had a gun. And also he was reported threatening somebody it's not exactly clear yet, but there have been reports that he was threatening somebody outside of the store with the gun. Now, when you're a police officer, I'm not a cop, but it really is common knowledge. And you get called in, and the call you're going to is saying there is a man with a gun. Notice I didn't say a black man or a white man, I said a man. When you get called in to a, a report, to an incident, to an altercation, and it is said and known that the man is brandishing a gun, that gives the police every right 
to, to, to protect and defend their own lives as well as other people's lives around him. You know, what was he going to do? Show up with, you know, and just stand there? Now, you know, there's various videos out there of the incident. There's, you know, they, they wanted to make it look like these officers just shot him in cold blood, murdered him, four shots. But what you don't see and what you don't know is that Alton Sterling, they told him to stop, you know, just like, you know, uh, police officers are trained to do to try to maintain the situation, you know, before it escalates too high to where it unfortunately did. But he resisted. He tried to fight it. Now, on the video, you can hear the officers saying they're, they're, de they're detaining him, you know, he's on the ground. And they're telling him, don't move. Do not move. Stand still. Don't resist. And then you see him, Alton Sterling, kind of lifting up and reaching for something. Now, again, it is known already before they get to this scene that this man has been seen with a gun. And he's resisted arrest. The cops are still trying to detain him. And he's still resisting arrest. And now he's reaching for something in his pants or somewhere near there. And, they, and it was a gun. Now, in my view, in my opinion, and by common knowledge, they had every right to do to protect themselves from this man. You know, it is also common knowledge that if you are in an incident or an altercation with a cop, and you are, a, you know, in that position to where it is escalated, to where there are weapons drawn, if you resist, if you go against that, those police officers have every right. I would have done the same thing. I'm sure you would have. They have every right to protect themselves and even people around them. I mean, I would have done the same thing. And like I said, I know you would have too. Pretty sure. And now there's, you know, all these riots. And there's this protest, and you know it's okay to protest peacefully, nonviolently. That is a right of the American citizen. But it never goes that way. You know, it turns out violent, um, and now it's turned out to where police officers are getting shot because of this. Most recently, Baton Rouge and, and, and the sniper in Dallas. Now, Baton Rouge, it was known that he was an ex-Marine. He was very skilled. And it's also known that he was stalking the police. He wasn't even from Baton Rouge. He was, I think he was from, he had been stalking the police in for days, you know, and call him in to a straight up ambush and three officers, innocent officers are dead. And still the racial card is being thrown around. Now I am not racist in any way, shape or form. I was born and raised to be colorblind to where all humans and all people are equal. And we're all the same. We're all in, in this world and we're all in this together. 
and I'm saying that, you know, they throw around this racist card. Well, it's because he was black. Well, it's because, you know, the police officers see a black man. He must be up to something. And so on and so forth. And they got shot like Alden Sterling. Oh, well, he was a good man. He was innocent. He had many prior convictions. He had been in prison. Now, I'm not perfect, but... I mean, it's just common knowledge, you know? And now you get, you know, they throw around a racial car. Well, if it's racial, then why are, is a black person shooting black officers? Why? Why is this the thing? You know, it, a lot of this all goes down to one thing, and that is gun control. If we could just come in the middle and see that it, it needs to stop. It does. This needs to stop. I realize that, you know, unfortunately in this world today, we cannot, probably cannot uh, stop or get rid of terrorism altogether. But in this country, in this in the United States I know and I believe strongly that this can be prevented and stopped it it just it really can it all comes down to gun control now you have one side saying you know like the politicians and the, you know the government saying well you know if we detain or take away the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, this could result. Well, of course, that causes conflict with, you know, certain civilians and other groups like, um, you know, uh, Guns Act, you know, Weapons Act, not weapons, uh, gun activists, I guess you would want to call it, and just people of the like that are saying, no, you can't take away our Second Amendment. That's all right, and I I get that. I, I I'm an American citizen, you know. True, I I get what you're saying. I understand that, but all this being done, all that's happening, is arguments and debates and battles. No resolution no attempt to fix it it's just back and forth and back and forth with battles and and politicians and it's doing absolutely nothing because as you can see people are still dying innocent people and if we could just come together and see and come out with figure something out with the gun control issue, where we both agree that, hey, if we do this, we can eliminate and we can make this country safer and better. Stop the hate and the, the evil. And that's all it is, is this hate. Where it makes us look no better than the guy in France that carried out that sadistic, cowardly t attack and took all those innocent lives. Killing somebody because for no reason other than retaliation is never the right answer ever it is never the right answer it's not eye for an eye people come on we're better people than this we really are it's just heartbreaking anyway i thought i would um do this video and 
you know, I care about you guys and I thank you and appreciate you so much. Little my channel may be, but every one of you can and matter. And I'm grateful to every one of you. And I want you guys to know, I want you to be safe and be kind. You know, with all the, the tragedy and the, the hatred and it's not good, you know? Be kind to one another, be, be good people. Do the right thing, you know? And use what's up here. You know, there's so many different, you know, you can get on YouTube, you can get on the news. All it is is bad news. I mean, you're gonna see all these people trying to convince you that these riots and these protests are for a good reason, and they're not. They're contributing to a, a problem that a big problem that our country in this world already has. You know, it's not racism. It's not black or white. It's, it affects everybody, whether you are in America or France, Orlando or Dallas, or in a small city like me, or Baton Rouge, or a small city like me where it affects everyone because people are afraid to go outside and enjoy the way of life because of this. And that's sad. I, I'm scared to travel, you know? It, it installs fear in us and it affects every one of us. And I strongly, like I said, believe that it can be better. It can be, it can, something can be done. You know, I can't do it myself. I wish I could, I can't. But together as a people, if we come together and do what's right instead of follow the masses, do what's right, do it in our heart, what we know is right. I strongly believe that it can be, we can make this country and this, this country better and the world better. We just have to try. We have to be, we have to do what's right. We have to be strong. In faith, whether you have faith or whatever you believe in or not, we have to be strong people. Otherwise, they win, you know? That's what they want. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys and I care for you. And I love you guys. You might be a small channel, but we are a small community and each and every one of you mean so much and count and matter. Um, take care, do the right thing, be kind, keep strong. Uh, this is Bizzle Blue 38 Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the, the light thing. Um, you guys take care. I'm out of here.